today on The Freezes. Let me tell you a story. Guy loves the outdoors. Guy buys RV. Guy goes on mega trip. Guy spends half his vacation fixing what was about to go wrong. Listen, I mean, we've all been there. It happens more often than any of us would like to admit, but you often roll up on a site expecting to have a worry-free week, but inevitably something does go wrong. Terribly wrong. And you have to deal with it. So we're sussing out the new rig today. Sussing means to find or discover. Surprise! It's short for suspect or suspicious. It's like you look at something and you're like, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I can trust you yet. That's what a sussing trip is. That's what we're about to do. Our goal is to identify what's about to break before we head north this spring. We plan on covering a lot of ground this year. Let's see if we can figure out what the weakest links are in the rig. Let's try and shake everything loose. Let's get it all out on the table. I definitely don't want to be fixing the rig when we're trying to be putting in our time, barren, moosing, elkin, whatever you want to call it. As we go through everything that's about to happen to us today, we want to hear what happened to you. Let us know what happened on your first sussing out trip. Maybe your trip went great. Just let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear it. So we're out here sussing out the open range. We have a couple trips in mind. One of the very first things that happened with this new rig was we popped the tank. Let me explain our water fill situation for you real quick. Most people have a gravity fill option. Gravity fill would be you have something like this, the nozzle extends, and then you would come over to where you place water in to fill it. So this is what I mean by pressure fill. Here's the only water entrance that we have. This is city water and fresh connection. It's all controlled by this valve here. That is a black tank flush. This is just our outdoor shower. Um, all accessed by here. I have no other way to get water into this rig. We, in our old rig, went off of our overflow valve. So when our fresh water tank filled up, it would leak out the bottom. End of story. You can't trust your sensors in these things. On our second trip, we popped the fresh water tank because the previous owner had the overflow valve plugged from within inside the line, so I couldn't see it. Whereas a gravity fill option, the pressure release would be where you stuck your hose in to fill. You're not gonna be screwing into that hole so you don't create that pressure. In the situation like this, you're going to have a pressurized connection with the hose and then to whatever uh, fresh water connection you're coming through. You know, maybe it's an Iowa pump somewhere out there. The problem that poses is, is that you need to, to pump the water in. Um, it can't be simply turn a jug upside down and drain water into this. It doesn't work that way or at least at all any way good. There's gonna be a sealed connection here. It's going to count on your overflow valve for a pressure release. So here's the valve, this white one here. This is the valve um, where I installed the shark bite here um, to where I can control the overflow. This is to shut it to where I, I won't leak anything during transport. And this allows the drain to work properly as an overflow. He had this line completely plugged up um, and I, to where you couldn't see it. And if that is plugged up, all that pressure is gonna build in your freshwater tank and it's going to explode out of your weakest point of that tank. Water started leaking underneath my undercarriage here and I knew I was in trouble. We counted on the overflow valve to tell us when we had a full freshwater tank. I thought I could count on this rig doing the same thing. It didn't click all together with me that that would be a problem or that anyone would think to do that. I could only imagine why, and it would be because you're losing too much water during transportation. So if you have a pressure only fill, it's very important that your overflow valve not be permanently plugged. That is something you would wanna tell the new owner. That's not normally done. That cost me a pretty penny. <laughs> little 
closer right to this edge where it just kind of infinity drops off right into Lake Mead. This is the With Overton the Arm. Fire yeah, it's got the best fire pit in the biz around here. We don't do the fire too often, but when we do, um, <clears throat> boy, we sure do like it when on nights like this. As soon as we got to our campsite, it kept leaking all night long into the next day. Now because we couldn't hold any fresh water, we needed to pay for a site. First time plugging in the open range. Backing her on up. Been in this spot before with Johnny. We are having a water issue <clears throat> with the fresh water tank in the open range. So we have a repair guy that's pulling in now. There he is. What do we got going on down here? I'm patching up from the uh, spin weld that they did on the tank. All the water's dried out under here. So I'm gonna tape up these vents right up in here. This vent and then this one next to it. We don't want any mice up in here. But we got everything dried out so it's ready to be taped back up. The next issue that we had was the kitchen sink. We're in Searchlight, Nevada. We're on Joshua Tree Highway. We don't want to pull our new rig in a lot of places that we haven't been yet. So why we're walking down here is we just want to make sure there's plenty of room to turn around if we decide not to. And then number two, we just don't want to get the rig into something that we're going to regret. And we have done that before. So a like, little cattle guard we were iffy about. Yeah, but when we got close, it was fine. It takes a little bit more effort, but in the long run, you will be thankful that you took a little extra time like this. We're walking back here. Let me show you where that rig is down there. We're gonna go get that rig and we're gonna come back here down this wee thump road. We just found a great little spot next to a bunch of Joshua trees. sink job to do after another hundred miles of travel sussing out right well on our move today I came in here put the slides out and everything something's not normal we're not quite sure what happened it was a lot more bumpy than we thought yeah we put a little bit of weight in this and hit a few bumps and that is all she wrote I mean chalk it up to another Home Depot trip and another uh, you know, delay in what we're trying to do out here. <laughs> it just never ends, so. It's been something almost every move day, it seems. It's a beautiful life, but it's yeah, not it always sure easy. Is. Plus, these are your good life skills to learn. I probably should uh, up my plumbing skills. Project complete. Yep, we're gonna see if it holds. We're gonna leave the jacks underneath for, I don't know, the rest of the night. I'm happy with it. The plumbing's not hooked up under there, so don't turn on the sink. That'll ruin your camping trip on a weekend if you show up and you know you don't have your sink. <laughs> you can't use your water. Um, so sussing out the campers is super important. Once you get it, get your butt on a practice trip or two, put some miles on it. Go an hour and a half away from your house on a weekend before you are doing your major trip. It's very important. We decided to move for Christmas. It is in just a couple days. Today's Saturday, Christmas is on Monday. And I told Brian for this year, I wanted Joshua tree for Christmas trees. Last year we had a big old cactus. This year we wanted a Joshua tree. Check this out.
trips under our belt now, we're starting to feel confident. The solar is working great, by the way, and I haven't really talked about that because, well, for a couple reasons, I'm still gathering data, and also I'm making an entire video on that. So watch for that coming soon. With confidence high, we're starting to move to our next destination, and right when we think we have all the dust knocked off, this happens. Air filmed a little bit of what happened yesterday. So we're not in a good situation right now. Brian's on the phone with the insurance slash uh, towing service company. Driving down this busy road and two of our lug nuts got loose. We almost lost the tire completely. That's what we're working with. One. He got another one on. I thought it was, uh, was getting a flat tire. I lowered my driver's side mirror and I saw my rear passenger tire wobbling. Uh, I about had a heart attack. <laughs> um, luckily he noticed that before anything serious happened, but he's got that back on. I, I pulled over um, on a very small shoulder. You saw what it was. This road is incredibly busy. We are very close to the road. It was a very uh, intense moment just being that close to this traffic. I mean, people were passing people. They didn't care if I was there or not. We do have AAA and roadside assistance, but for what this issue is, they don't really cover for. They're willing to come out, but they only do a tire change or a tow service. So we're going to see what we can do. I think we're going to try to go slow. I was able to disconnect the truck from the trailer um, so that I could get that tire uh, off the ground so I could push um, the tire back in and suck the, the lugs back onto the bolts. It worked enough to get us to the Nevada permanently closed visitor center that we did look up on uh, one of our apps. Nothing like an old fashioned truck stop. That's it, Nevada visitor center. It does allow our viewers there, so we totally lucked out. Um, we're kind of stuck in the middle of Bullhead City and Needles, California. I bought these tires at Discount Tire, so I was trying to deal with Discount Tire. I called them this morning. They told me that they don't do bolts. So I'm driving the truck right now to Bullhead City, Arizona. I'm gonna get this tire situation corrected so we can get back on the road. And this was a scary uh, little moment that we wanna get behind us. Either way, this is part of the stuff that you gotta do on the road and uh, uh, boy, does this happen at uh, some of the worst times. And part of the reason why I am always busy. <laughs> So with my confidence at an all-time low with my truck rear wheel, I decided that we shouldn't travel as far as we originally planned. So we decided uh, to look for something a lot closer, which led to our very first casino stay. There were plenty to choose from in Laughlin, as this was definitely the area's main attraction. You know, we love adventure camping. We love remote camping. Um, getting to these locations is not easy. That comes with sometimes questionable roads and can shake a lot of things loose, which leads to problems. You know, when you're going through it like we were there, guys, sometimes just a level asphalt lot um, next to services is exactly what the doctor ordered. You never know what your view might be in an RV. Today is a casino parking lot. We ended up choosing Riverside Casino. We read on their website that we needed to check in with security. So we went inside the casino and used the house phone to call security. Just two newbies in the casino trying to figure out how to park here for free for the first time. They came right down and met us at the open range to check registration and proof of insurance, which is required to stay here. And with our solar providing our power, this was exactly what we were looking for. Turkey got a little bit of bird poop on him. <laughs> it's not a good day. Casino Sergi's on the loose. About to make his appearance in his first casino. He's done many lives in his day. <laughs> Never a casino. Yeah. 
one fun little thing about our life here is we get to have Sergi with us pretty much everywhere we go. And he is such a good boy. Look at him. He's hanging out. Tons of distractions. Cool as a cucumber. So we're sussing it out. I believe, I mean, I really hope we're done, but you just never know with these used trailers. Darian and I want to thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and do not forget, we want to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.